Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Um, watering day, doing the rest of the plants. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to have to film that won't just be repeating the same old. <laughs> well, you never know. Might be a new person, never had a look round before. Um, a request, so let's get that out of the way first. Um, somebody asked how my Sidera japonica was doing. Well, the answer is okay. Nothing flash. It is growing a new leaf. Um, the last leaf it grew was larger than the rest, although a bit slimmer. Um, that's probably a light related thing. Um, yeah, leaves will push towards the light. If they're in brighter light, they tend to have shorter, fatter leaves. That doesn't apply to all types of orchids, but it may well apply to this one. But all I can say is it's growing a new leaf, which is good. I don't believe this is going to spike until at least that leaf is mature. And um, having not had this long, I don't know how long that's going to take. Um, it might need another leaf on top of that one before it spikes. But uh, yeah, it, it's doing okay. It just lurks in the background. I don't take much notice of it because I think it's actually been renamed Phalaenopsis now. So um, if it's called Phalaenopsis, it'll get treated like the rest of them, which is basically ignored until it comes to water in time. So we'll see how it does. I'll see what else I've got as I go round. We'd have a closer look at this while it's out. Um, I've had this plant a while now, and just now a few of the blooms are starting to go. I've got to go careful not to knock this because it's, it's quite dry at the moment and the pot's light as a feather and it will go over if I do. But yeah, there's a couple of blooms I'll trim off. I mean, this one was damaged, um, but nonetheless it's hung in there. But uh, yeah, I mean, those two can go. And um, this one back here is obviously on its way out. But um, just for a lot of people wonder how zygos actually work. Well, they are a little bit different, I suppose. They, um, they put up a new growth and everybody thinks, oh, I've got a spike. Well, probably no, you haven't. <laughs> what you've probably got is a new growth. And then that new growth will progress. You'll see the leaves starting to form. And then at some point along the line, further down the line, as that new growth pushes on, the spikes will come out if you're going to get them. And they come out there. Let's lift that leaf up. You see they come out not from the actual base but from just above it. So they'll always be inside one of these bracts. Well, under normal circumstances. Yeah, you can see. They come out from in there. Um, which in this case is actually quite close to the base. And um, if it's growing really well, you can often get, like here, there are two spikes on that growth, yeah? And there are two spikes on this growth. So on this particular variety, which is Luisendorf, um, it has a habit of pushing up two spikes per bulb. But it also does funny things, like growing a bulb like that and then growing another one on top. I'm sure that's messing about with the genes in the hybridization process. But anyway, I've got a few, uh, few blooms to trim now. But um, this is the... Stay. This is the latest spike to open and will be the last one. And you can see the intensity of the colours is just so much better. You know? But this one does ha also have a habit of throwing its face on its blooms to the sky. Um, which makes viewing it from the side a little awkward. But this one's going to open facing out. This one's not too bad, this one's okay. But it is just a trait of zygos that the lip is of often horizontal, not vertical like most lips. They stick out and then the flower fades away from that point. So they often point skywards. As I say, it makes viewing them a bit awkward. But anyway, that's desperate for a drink. It's desperate for a repot, but it's not going to get it. Not until these blooms are over. And um, quite honestly, I, I don't know enough about this particular variety to know when the new roots come out. I mean, I'd like to see a new growth and some new roots before I repot it, but I might not have the luxury of waiting that long because I don't like what it's in. But... 
These are semi-terrestrial, if not true terrestrials in some cases. And as a consequence, this coconutty stuff might actually be the best thing since sliced bread for a zygo. So I'm not desperate to get it out of its pot, but you know, there is some wasted roots here that have come out into the air and um, I think they'd prefer to be in the pot, but you know, the ones around the back weren't in the pot, so there's something in the pot. But until I get it out, we won't know. But anyway, the latest blooms here are only just opening. Given how long these have lasted, they're due to last an awful long time. And um, as soon as I get it, after I've watered it and I get it back over here, where there's a little bit of sunlight, the rest of my watering day is going to be blessed with the fragrance, which is heavenly, to say the least. Okay, that's that one. Yeah, Zygopetalum Luisendorf. It's a, it's a nice one. I like the green tips and the reddish, burgundy sort of colour. And it's a typical patterning on the lip, but they're often purple, um, as in Victoria Virginia type of purple, rather than this pinky purple. But I like this colour combination. It's nice. That's why I bought it. Apart from the fact it looked a pretty good plant. <laughs> That's what I'd been waiting for. I stand a chance of this one staying alive because it starts off so good. And that's what I was after. And that's what I'm going to be after from now on. Not picking up and taking home rubbish little plants with hardly any roots and broken down media that have got wonderful blooms on. I'm not going to get fooled anymore. I will ignore the blooms I will look at them and say do I want those blooms in my grow room yes or no if the answer is yes I'll look at the plant and then the bigger question is do I want that plant in my grow room and if the answer is no it goes back on the shelf and stays where it is and somebody else can have it I'm going to be quite harsh in my purchasing from now on let's see how we go let's have a quick look around this one this is Miltonia Sunset not a brilliant spike, only three buds, but um, a spike's a spike. <laughs> That's the way I look at it, but I wanted to look more at the plant. Um, you can see this growth is not mature yet, but now it's thrown out its roots. So that's something I will now make a note of. I'm keeping notes on that type of thing. It's going to help me choose whether or not it's a good time to repot because um, if I make a note that, you know, when a new growth is reaching maturity, it will throw out its new roots on this plant. Um, and as a consequence, um, I mean, this hasn't been repotted since I got it. And once it's actually done, it'll probably stay in its pot for ages anyway. But you can see this new growth here, pushing up nice and strong, has no new roots yet. This one, that's almost mature, is pushing out its roots. So that's when it roots. That's the important bit. And, um, yeah, it does need repotting, but um, I'm just waiting for this spike to go. Um, or I might risk it, but I don't want to waste this section of the plant, because this is, this is its future. This growth and this growth is the future of this plant. And blow me, there's another one squeezing up there in between the two. Yeah, so that's three new growths in succession. Biggest, next, smallest. That one isn't going to root for some time. But it will be supported by these roots and these that are going to follow on. I know that now by looking at this one. So three nice new growths on that one. There might even be some more lurking. No, I don't think so. Three's going to be it. Three's good. Potentially a spike on each one and um, hopefully a few more blooms next time. But the blooms are big, so, you know, sometimes big and a few is the um, consequence of how that plant grows. You know, sometimes you get lots, but they're little, like twinkles, you know, like something like that. Loads and loads and loads, but they're tiny. And they make up for it by having a splash of colour. But uh, Anyway, so uh, that, that's the growth pattern on that one, fully established now. And, um, you know, just right for filming, you know. That size new growth on this plant pushes out roots like that. They need getting in a pot. They'll be followed by roots on that one and then that little one in there. You see the roots on this one um, 
really have missed a lot of their chance to get in the pot but some of these can still be teased down into the pot when I do it um, and some of them have actually gone down in behind those sheaths into the pot so not lost just not as good as they could have been so that's that one Miltonia Sunset easily found this one if you like this one you should be able to get a hold of it but then I'm speaking Europe not rest of the world I can only speak for what I see you know around where I live but at the show on Saturday I can guarantee there'll be some of those for sale and the chances are at least two of the traders will have them and they may have several so you know you could pick and choose well if you get there early because <laughs> these are going to go quick I bet you anything if they've got these for sale they'll go quick everybody loves this one and this beastie never gets filmed because it's not really doing anything but you know when you start having a closer look well yes it is actually doing something I mean that bulb is now mature nice fat plump roots pushed out the bottom down into the pot and it's now the largest bulb on the plant um, not as fat as that one, but then that one's one of the really old ones and it's wrinkled, whereas this is nice and plump. And the other new growth is some um, pushing on to maturity with roots down in the pot again. Um, this is absolutely blooming size, but I don't know when it blooms, I don't know where the blooms come out of, because it hasn't done it for me yet. But it will. I mean, this is Sologeny, um Moriana... Magnifica, I think, something like that. Moriana Magnifica and it's Brockhurst. Um, whether that's unique to Burnham's, I'm not quite sure, but that's where it came from. But yeah, I mean, these two latest growths have pushed on nicely, pushed out new roots, and it's blooming size. So blooming well, get on and bloom. But I, it's, you know, it might be an autumn bloomer, could be a winter bloomer, I don't know. And who knows, it may start chucking out some more new growths before it blooms. I'll have to wait and see, but I'm really pleased with that growth, that really has pushed on well. Nothing lurking in the sheaths. <laughs> I'm becoming paranoid about what lives down in these bits. <laughs> uh, but so far I haven't found anything apart from that one little bit yesterday, a little outbreak, but yeah. Again today, no bugs. I've gone round thoroughly checking, no bugs. I'm winning. Not one, but winning. That's the way I like to see it. I'm down to a little bit of alcohol and a Q-tip now. I'm down at that level, just an odd one now and again, rather than having to spray the whole flipping grow room. Hopefully those, you know, those days are gone, apart from a maintenance one now and again. So we're getting there. What's this? Dendrobium harveyanum, not in bloom. Uh, come on you, you're supposed to be in bloom for six months. <laughs> it's just having a little break while it gets some more buds organised. So there's a spike here, another one coming here, and a rather pathetic little one, but look at the old cane it's on. <laughs> I'm surprised that's even managed to put a spike out. Um, but yeah, I mean this just blooms on and off, literally from sort of January time last year till July. It just keeps keeps going smasher desperately need to repotting two reasons um, it's been in there a while and the pot is absolutely full of algae in this case a right pain it looks horrible I'm not sure it does a huge amount of harm but obviously it aids the media breaking down process so it speeds up the need to repot so it needs a good clean but at the moment there's no signs of new canes coming so I'm just waiting patiently and shortly longer day lengths it should start pushing its new canes out and it will simultaneously there's a big word for only two coffees um, start to push out new, a new root system as well so perfect time to repot coming soon whether it's in bloom don't care it's a plant that's important so uh, and that one really does need coming out of that pot look at the state of it funny some pots don't get the algae and some just do I suppose it's like spores and things and once they get a hold um, because I use clear pots in the main, the light's there, and with the light, it grows like hell, you know. It's, um, if it was moss, I wouldn't mind so much, but um, it might even be moss and algae, not sure. <laughs> moss would do less harm, but um, either way, it's unsightly, I don't want it, and it's coming out. And um, it's a little bit too big to mount. It would mount, it would be happy on a mount, but um, it would then have to be accommodated. And um, 
They might be just a bit too much. You know, I've got plenty of room for more mounts, but if you add a really big plant into that mix, you deprive the space from lots more little plants. You know, I mean, by little plants, I mean plants like this. It takes up virtually no room. I mean, it lives in the roof. It's only down here so that I can look at the blooms while they're out. You know, here's another little one. It's a, it's a miniature. Come on, you should be open by now. Um, you know, my little orangus and um, my telumnias, they're miniatures. And then you get that. It takes up half a rack, all on its own. I'm pretty sure that one's going to go. <laughs> I think I'm nearly made me mind up. It's just outgrown its welcome. But at the moment, you know, it's in bloom. They are pretty little blooms. Emphasis on the little. But, um, yeah, there's only a couple of spikes left now, so, uh, you know, maybe at the next meeting I might move that one on and let somebody else have a go that's perhaps got a bit more space. OK, um, repotting time. Yeah, clay pots. Um, just going, I haven't got that many cattleyas now for reasons I've said. Um, but um, if you have a look on this one... Um, this is its last matured growth. It put up a sheath, um, but nothing came out of that sheath yet. I mean, it could be one of those that um, blooms later. And it's possible, you can see that it's, it's currently pushing out new roots. Two theories. Um, does it push out its new roots on the latest growth when it's matured? Or which is exactly the same thing, does it push out its new roots on the latest growth immediately prior to a new growth pushing out? They could be one and the same. But either way, this is just gone past a perfect time to repot it, but not lost my window. It's still pushing out some new roots. There's still signs and there's a couple of new ones. And with care, these ones that have got a little bit long can still be got into new media. See, they're not ridiculously long, but there's a mass of them on this section of the plant, and they need getting in the new big chunky bark in a clay pot, um, which hopefully I will get the uh, media that goes with the pot on Saturday. So that will be the first one to do, quite honestly. And um, just to show the pattern... Oh! My knees don't work as good as they used to. You can see that the last flush of new growth on that one went with the new growth. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording such interesting facts when those new roots pushed out. So I don't know whether they pushed out when the new growth was young or as it matured. And I've lost the opportunity to record that fact. I'll have to wait for the next new growth and see what it does. Um, this is the... Um, Varnagara, and I don't think that latest growth is actually going to bloom. It may do. I can't remember how it blooms on the latest growth. I just can't remember. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, that that one two weeks ago would have been a perfect time. But I haven't lost the window. We, uh, so that one will be probably the first one to do. That's a no ID. It's just got nice orange flowers, quite large, um, not too many. But, you know, a good show, if it does it again. I don't think that one may bloom. I think it, um, you know, again, it got set back when it was repotted because it wasn't done at the right time. Um, but nonetheless, it's got every opportunity to pull on now. Well, I can quite safely say that this one is at its peak. Yeah, all the blooms are open now. And what a show. Um, on my banner heading for my channel there's the big long picture which is dendrobium cassiope and um, next to it is a nice reddy orange cattleya in the little um, I think they're called avatars but the little little picture window anyway and that plant has long since gone I don't own that plant anymore and because I don't want to change the general appearance of my banner heading because it's what people are used to I think if I take a still of this, this can replace that reddy orange one with a plant I have got. And it's still got a similar colour, so, you know, at a glance, my banner won't look as though it's changed that much. 
but um, I need to get a still of this for my records anyway, because when I took the last lot of pictures, I forgot this one. How can you forget that? <laughs> oh, it's a beauty, you know. And it has actually got a name, that's Young Min Orange, and um, it is by far my best Catlia. For me to achieve that again, maybe not. Um, all of those buds were embryo buds down in the sheaths when I bought the plant. All I've done is grow it on and not blast the buds and get them to open. So I can't say that I grew all the new growths and produced those buds, because I didn't. It's my job after flowering to get a flush of new growths on this plant because it has multiple leads. And if every lead produces at least one growth, and preferably two, maybe I will get this again this time next year. Maybe better. <laughs> you can always hope, I suppose. We live in hope. But yeah, that's, that's at its peak now. It's a beauty. It really is. No fragrance. Yeah, I'll live with that. For a splash of colour like that, I can live without fragrance. Quite honestly, the um, big blousy thing up, up the back there, I'm not going to dig it out, it's been on film enough times. The fragrance from that is strong today, yeah? Brighter light, it really is pushing out a good bit of fragrance today. And um, that Catlia had no fragrance for quite a few days, and then it suddenly started. And I've still got two buds to come on there, coming soon. But yeah, what a beauty. Uh, this probably won't be that easy to show because the best bit of the plant with all the best canes is sort of buried in there. But um, we have buds. We have buds showing in many places. Many places. On old canes, and I mean old canes, you know, these have been leafless a while, and yet still we have buds. This always is a star performer for me. This is Dendrobium hercoglossum. It always does well. Now these latest canes up the top, this lot, are probably going to flower later in the year. Because it does have a second flush. These are last year's canes, still growing. I don't see any buds on those. But yeah, there's, there's buds in many places. So uh, I think it's going to be another good show from that one. <laughs> okay. You just have to be so careful. These tatty old canes on the lower part of the plant were going to get trimmed off. But they've actually got buds on. Despite being leafless now, this, is their, this will be their second season without leaves, and yet they're still producing buds. So we'll let it do its thing. And probably I'm not going to trim that now. I'm going to leave it. If it's capable of budding on these really old canes, then let it do it. Good job I haven't already trimmed them and tidied it up or I'd have lost some buds. But um, come the end of this season, um, they're now budding near the tips. So those will probably be the last few nodes that haven't ever bloomed. And they won't bloom again. So I'll leave it till the end of the season to tidy the plant up. And it can go into the winter a bit tidier. But yeah, there's buds coming out all over the place on that. Pleased with that. That's one of my favourite blooms not large i'll put a pop up but um yeah good stuff now those buds were not there last time i watered that and that's only three four days ago because um you know not all of my mounts get watered every time and i'm on a two-day cycle at the moment and i'm pretty sure four days ago those buds weren't there i'd have seen them there's lots of bright little bits of green i'd have seen that wouldn't i <laughs> walking around with blinkers on anyway that's to come. Please with that. Thought I'd finish on a bit of root growth. It's that time of year. This is what we should be seeing in a lot of our plants now. They're responding to the longer days. Well, certainly here in the UK, there's some more going on here. Yeah, I could do with the new growth on that thing. I must admit. So I'm going to finish there, and. Um, this is Thursday. This will get posted tomorrow on Friday because I've already posted a couple today from the day before. I'm getting a day out of hand basically. Normally I film on the day and post it that day but I'm a day behind and that will work quite well because this one can go tomorrow um, because Saturday I can't film. It's the show and Sunday I'll be putting the film of the show together um, which hopefully can actually be posted on Sunday. If not, it'll certainly be on Monday. 
but um, yeah, I'll be busy all day Saturday, so I certainly won't be mucking about with videos, apart from one, the 60 seconds. Mine's already done, it's just sat there, and that's going to take but a moment to load, first thing Saturday morning before I have to drive and go and pick my daughter up. So mine's ready to go, is yours? Thought about it? Thought what you're going to do? Done it yet? Come on, let's have a mass load, all called my orchid collection in 60 seconds come on let's all have a go see you again next time then thanks for dropping by